going on from that, uh, my final or second pick is also to do with the sort of controversies that's going on around Hollywood these days. And, and this, is, this film is one of my... The, I, it's very hard for me to pick my favorite film of all time. But I've narrowed it down to five. Okay. And this is one of my top five. Okay. And it's The Usual Suspects. Uh, definitely my top ten of all time. Yeah. Um, Up there with Shag, as I told you before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and a great villain uh, who will no doubt, concerning the, uh, the events of last year, will be less and less remembered in the annals of, of, yeah. of, uh, mm. of cinema just because he's played by Kevin Spacey. Mm. But oh, Kaiser really. Soze. And again, yeah. you're not watching what you think you're watching the whole movie. Yeah. Yes. The first time the end is like... Oh, like uh, yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, no, I saw no, it in no. a movie theater. And I was living in Scotland at the time. I saw it in a movie theater you could smoke in. I smoked no. back then. And I went there, and I went there, we went there the next two days in a row to mm. see it again, because I just couldn't believe. Cool. I, yeah. Just, yeah. 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 Absolutely mind-blowing movie. You know? Yeah. And the thing is that the, the important... And this is why I chose Kaiser Soze, is because, like Keaton says in the film... There is no Kaiser Soze. Who is Kaiser Soze? Kaiser Soze doesn't exist. Mm. Uh, they, they, this has been debated for, for since the movie came out. And, and Brian Singer, the director himself, thinks that Verbal is Kaiser Soze. Yeah. Mm. And there, was, there, there are uh, things in the, in the screenplay like um, Soze's name is taken from the Turkish word Sözlü, which means verbal. Mm. Okay. So there's, there's sort of uh, hints to, towards mm. that. The scriptwriter doesn't agree. He thinks that that there is no Kaiser Soze really. Mm. That and but but I was actually when I was in the when I was in uni completing my masters, I, I was thinking of writing about uh the usual suspects on for a course that dealt with um identity and and, and film. Uh and I never got round to it. I mm. I never I, I never wrote that paper. But it uh, that that character has haunted me from way back when. From the first time I saw it, I, first of all, the name is so cool. It's, mm. it's just something that sticks in your mind. Sure. But but there's so many ways in which you can read that movie mm. because it, it 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 is possible that it's almost all of it. If you start to pick it apart with tweezers, uh, and you pick out only the bits that you think that within the story which is a story about the story, mm, which yeah. are, uh, in terms of the film's world, is true. The, 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 the fact that he's being interrogated, mm, right? yeah, fact, yeah. The, the fact that there's a, there's a ship in the yard mm, and, yeah. and there are burning bodies there. Apart from all of that, if you pick the, pick up, pick the whole thing apart, there is actually no indication that Verbal is anything but a con man. Just a con, and that, that he's that's not, what he's presented as. From yeah, the beginning. yeah, that, a, a that, yeah, man. and there and there is no, there is, the, it's quite possible that there is no criminal mastermind. Mm. Now, Kobayashi I, just made the whole thing up. Yeah, and yeah. there is, and there is no Kobayashi because the, the whole thing, you see him with Kobayashi mm. yeah. in the end getting into the car, yeah. but it could basically be just oh, yeah, those you two the scene, guys. The scene with yeah. Keating and stuff, yeah. you know, in the elevator and stuff. Yeah, it could be. It's yeah, sure. Mm. Yeah, okay. the, so and and. And you know that these these criminals existed, basically, yeah. because mm -hmm. they're sort of... A, and yeah. how good is Fenster, by the way? Yeah. There should be a <laughs> DJ Fenster that talks like Fenster between... <laughs> how many the keys, you cocksucker? In English, please. Excuse me. In English. How many the fucking keys, you cocksucker? What the fuck? Say who? McManus. He told us another story altogether. Oh, is that the one about the hookup with a dysentery? What are you saying? I say, you'll flip you. He'll what? Flip you. Flip you for real. Yeah, I'm shaking. Come on. Okay. Answer my question. And you hit me in the back. Hello? He's so good. He's, and, you know, he's only in half the movie, but he's so good, you know. Benicio, that was one of the first roles that he ever had. The way he's walking and, around the corner. The yeah. The, oh, God. He, uh, he, was, he was cast into that movie, and he was apparently quite disappointed but by him being a throwaway character. So oh, right. he, he went to the screenwriter and he said, I want to 
I want to, I want to develop a certain kind of speech pattern for this guy oh, to yeah. become more, more, more memorable. Thank you. for real. And he nailed that. Yeah, good. Boy, it's good. Yeah, it's but, good. But it, yeah. it is interesting. Uh, but getting back to that identity of whether that whether this bad guy ever actually existed, mm. even within the world. Yeah. No. It, it is a really interesting question because there's, there's, the, there's the lawyer, there's Kobayashi, yeah. which is a well, Japanese... Kobayashi Chris, it says, yeah. it on the, it says it on the mug, Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Which is a Japanese name. I had a Miss Kobayashi as a, a school librarian when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. And, and the guy is English, obviously. No. He, he is in no way Japanese. He uses no. like, he uses like mild color shirts. Yeah. But he is obviously not Japanese. Right. Fenster. Pete Postlethwaite. Yeah, Pete Postlethwaite. Mm -hmm. uh, good actor. Very good. God rest his, his soul. I didn't know he was dead. Yeah, he, he died like 10 years ago or something. Oh, like yeah. Really? Um, it, got, it, it has a, a character called Fenster. Yeah. Who is obviously not i mean maybe is that a jewish name if no, it's a jewish fenster, name the character fenster is from somewhere in central south america <laughs> yeah but Some that's not a, yeah but the, fenster is yeah, not, fenster the not a that. south american name yeah what kind uh, of name is kint kint verbal kint i mean his first name is roger really right. but but verbal kint there's uh, i mean every bit there's so many things about that movie that you start thinking is this an a, a red foot the guy yeah, he, yeah, he sure. kept, dreams up of, of yeah. being this 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 fence. Yeah. Red foot? Like yeah. is he Native American? No. No. No, he, no he's, he's, a, he's white. He's yeah, white he's as you white. get, you know. Yeah. So um it's it's it is it is a very layered movie and I think that it's a perfect indication of a bad guy that you don't and that creates debate on whether that, that bad guy ever existed whether there is a conspiracy, mm. whether there, well, this four was of these a guys do die. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. And they're all criminals, and they're mm. known. I mean, they're they're actually real within the in the criminal fraternity. No. Yeah, no. and within the within the world of the film, mm. within within yeah. the within the, within the confines of the film. But that also creates interesting ideas about what it is that what 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 do we do when we screenwrite a movie? What it is that we are creating? Mm. Is it is it do we what kind of relationship that has to the reality that we are experiencing yeah. and how we perceive that reality mm. it's it, it is a it, i think it's an infinitely interesting film and yeah. i i that's one of the reasons why it is in my top five because there's so many things that you can every time you watch it you can sort of pick out yeah. and 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 um what I was saying about last year's movie, uh, one of the best movies last year. I don't know if you've seen Get Out. No, I haven't mm. seen it. A very, very good movie. Yeah. I, I, I really recommend. Go okay. see Get Out as soon as possible. Yeah, I'll watch it tomorrow. Because that, that is one of those movies that you can go in and you can decide what kind of movie this is before you watch it. And you can and watch it the next time. Yeah, and, and decide again. something yeah. else. And this is the same thing with, uh, in, in a different way with The Usual Suspects, that you can decide the level of reality yeah. within the oh, movie. How, how, okay. how, yeah, yeah. What, what you're willing to accept as having been happened in the movie and what you don't. That is interesting. It, it, the movie is basically no... somebody telling a story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which, no is, which it always why is. Yeah. Why are they dead if there's no kind of suspects? Why, why well, there's some, yeah, why there's, a, there's, a, there's a bad guy, or some bad things well, have happened. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but none of the th none of the stuff that actually is told within the movie doesn't necessarily give out any indication as to why. Right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, okay, yeah Fenster dies in advance. You yeah. Know, you know, and yeah. the attack on the boat. Some other guys die. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You know. And it's also true that they they don't even they don't even actually know that they're that about Fenster because Fenster dies within the confines of yeah. the story and they bury him at the beach that at no point do the cops say that they found the body of no, Fenster that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so Fenster might be alive and well living off somewhere we could definitely oh, the Hockney thing we could definitely <laughs> place you in Queens on the night of the robbery really <laughs> I, live I live in, in Queens, Queens. <laughs> <laughs> why do you got a team of monkeys <laughs> running this investigation so that, <laughs> you guys don't have a fucking leg to stand on you think so tough guy I could put you in Queens on the night of the hijack Really? I live in Queens. Did you put that together yourself, Einstein?
what do you got, a team of monkeys working around the clock on this? The movie is a quote <laughs> machine, man. Yeah. It's yeah. brilliant, really. <laughs> a living queens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a good point. Um, that is an infinitely interesting idea. That is basically the same idea that when you have, when we were talking about Gone Girl on the book, yeah. you were mentioning the fact that the way you initially perceive something and then you see it from her perspective that is completely that different yeah. yeah and that's the same with that there's this story that is from one perspective and then you it's 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 an interesting thing to play with in a movie or in a book that you play with the idea of like an individual perception and the idea of lies within that perception and the yeah. truth within that perception. And, and just if you want to go really meta, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let, me, let me get ready. No, no, okay. no, no just, 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 <laughs> just in terms of thinking about lies and deception in terms of the actor mm. himself. Because it is, it is interesting how these people who have now been outed or the producers or mm. whatever who have been outed by this Me Too campaign, how do we, how do we view them? or the past work that they've done. Because oh, I right, think that Spacey that. is an outstanding actor. Yeah. He's, he's been an outstanding yeah, actor in a lot of different roles. And I hate throwing him in the trash can. I know that he, the, the stuff that he's done is deplorable. And I know that it, in case it's all true, I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna comment on that. But, but, but there is, a, and we've talked about this in, in previous episodes as well, that how do we view these people, these creative, in some way creative geniuses who turned out to be proper assholes in real life? Well, actually, society has a solution for that already in place when you think about it, which is the criminal justice system. Yeah, yeah, so but there that, is that, like a... If you do something yeah, but bad... How does that affect your perception of the, of the work? Well. Yeah. And then you're convicted... Yeah. And the idea of the conviction is that after the conviction, you have served your time. You have... Oh, after you spent 10 years in prison. Make sure. amends for yeah, but, what yeah, you have done, I, basically. Yeah, but I'm so, not going to wait 10 years to watch Usual Suspects again and then appreciate no, 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 Kevin no, Spacey's no, work. Like, well, <laughs> the, the, the Usual Suspects doesn't have anything to do with Kevin Spacey at the moment anymore. I mean, he's not getting... When you watch it, somebody is not sending him five dollars or anything. It's just yeah, you but, watching but, it. But, but apparently also, and while uh, I think this was Brian Singer or it was maybe John Ottman, uh, recently said that they also had to suspend uh, shooting Usual Suspects for a while because Spacey had been groping some... Really? Uh, Back yeah. then even? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Because yeah. I did not know that. I yeah. was completely unaware of. Yeah. Wow. So... You know, and we had to suspend shooting. Gee, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. no, it's, 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 two it's, days time out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Naughty wow. gave. I mean, wow. really, come on. <laughs> yeah, but it, I, for me, for me, I mean, and Spacey was instrumental in also get, getting the film off the ground because it was it was Singer's sec, uh, second movie after. Mm. Um, I can't remember the his uh, debut. I've seen it, but I can't remember its name. Anyway, it was it was screened in Sc Sundance, and Spacey saw it, and he, th he and, and he immediately contacted Singer, and he said that you should do something else, and I'm going to help you. This is apt pupil. Uh, no, no, that no. was after. Okay. It, this was um, I can't remember it. It's, it. it's a very it's a small it's a sort of it's not a mainstream, it's an indie film. Oh, so it was starring Steve Buscemi because it was the 90s. No, no, it was an no, 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 that it was even smaller than that. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, it, so it was below Buscemi. Yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. 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 Back in the early 90s, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I, uh, uh, that, something really impressed me about that film and the, uh, the turnaround at the end of the stuff, because that's even harder to do with a book than it is in a film. There's a book called Pick Up, but I've never mm. seen a movie made of it I don't think you could no. make a movie of it because it's a book. It's a noir fiction thing from the late '30s, early mm. '40s. You should, you should get it. Although I'm going to spoil it for you, mm. right? Oh, and shit. it's about this guy. It's, a, it's I think it's like during the war in San Francisco. He's, he's a bit of a bum, drunk, and he meets this girl and they fall in love. And she's a flawed character. He's a flawed character. Mm. They hate their lives there, and um, they decide that they're going to that they're going to die, right? Mm. So he's going to kill her, but he seemingly does, and then he gets arrested for it, but it turns out she actually didn't, it was only attempted murder, because she actually died of a heart attack, mm. 
and not right. So, and it's a long, long story. And you forget it. I'm not going to tell you. But it gets out, and and you see, you think of all these horrible scenes and the way people treat them, the way they treat each mm. other. And you know, she's a very pretty blonde woman. This mm. woman, he's just a guy. And the very last line of the book, pick up, it's called, is uh, he's leaving the police station. He's mm. free and stuff. And he's like, and there I am, just another lonely Negro standing in the rain. And you don't know he's black <laughs> the entire book. And it changes the. And then you think over the scenes, you're like. Everything suddenly makes sense in an absolutely different way. Like yeah. San Francisco, you know, 80 years ago, a, a black guy and a, and a blonde white girl. Yeah. And, that's, there's, and some yeah. of the scenes, like they'd walk into bars and somebody'd be like, I don't believe it. And you, it doesn't, you don't yeah. think yeah. that and stuff until the very end of the book. And yeah. I love things like that that make you absolutely rethink that is really the entire cool. thing. Because yeah. you basically get two stories. Yeah, yeah. and it's really, yeah. it's, it's genius, you know. Yeah. It's a really clever, so clever you'd, book. So you'd, you'd basically just have to have point Eddie, of view. A, no, Eddie Murphy playing uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. White. <laughs> Mr. White. Yeah, Eddie Murphy is Mr. White. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe we can wrap this up. Okay. Um, I don't think I have anything to add. Uh, yeah, well, it was no, really good cool. having you here. It was That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Next time I come back, we got to do a couple more of these. Okay. Okay.